<laughs> welcome everyone this is the cynical Romanian. welcome to world of tanks uh, to a brand new series which I'm gonna call the carry diaries basically it's a series that will focus on games where I have to carry my socks off uh, for the moment uh, I'll be focusing on games played by myself um, <clears throat> because i really don't have time to first of all i don't have enough uh, uh, viewers to even consider asking for replays from other people uh, alternatively i might ask uh, for some replays from some close friends but for the moment i'll focus on games that i play myself so yeah without further ado let's go um Top tier on El Haluf. The matchup, as you can see, is pretty good. I was kind of worried about the T29 and the Chiri. Uh, obviously, the two best, uh, statistically best players on their team. On my team, well, stats, people, some people say stats aren't everything. Some people say stats are everything. I am of the opinion that uh, stats are a good indicator of the kind of people you're going to encounter. Uh, so yeah, anyway, what I usually do in my heavy tanks, uh, regardless of tier on this map, I go over here on this corner and side scrape, uh, side scrape against, uh, or alternatively if I if I'm in a tank with uh, good gun depression like for example the T29 I go over here this is another good place you can put shots in on tanks that are traversing uh, from that location over to here it's an excellent uh, excellent location for a T29 or T32 or T34 anything with uh, good gun depression uh, but IS2 has anything but good gun depression it has five degrees if I'm not mistaken so I elected to come over here on the other side of the map things are already looking quite dire we lost a light tank and then the OI experimental decides to well I'll just turn blue because I'm an idiot and let's start team killing people at the end of the game at the beginning of the game because you know why not and right about here yeah I spot the Churchill and this is an amazing shot I spot the Churchill and I think to myself hmm Churchill let's do this amazingly enough I let the shot aim I let it aim and bam I honestly did not expect to hit that shot I can tell you from the looking at the battle results screen that that was a 260 meter shot right? if I'm not mistaken anyway on the corner we arrive and there's a I really did not expect this SU 144 I put a nice 429 that's a pretty nice damage roll into him and he die, doesn't care he doesn't even move I don't know where the hell that shot went. Um, he puts a nice damage roll into me. 427. Two damage uh, less than me, I guess. An eye for an eye. And now I guess he attempts to side scrape. I don't know what the hell he's trying to do. Really bad play by a tank destroyer. Uh, okay, so the Churchill and the Tiger we are advancing and I managed to thread the shot between uh, uh, past the Tiger P's turret. I leave him on 44 HP and he take, gets taken out. This guy, uh, it's usually what happens to tank suits. I have no idea about crossing this, uh, this gap. I killed the Tiger P's 34, unsurprisingly tier 5. Uh, medium tank. And looking at, I see the T29 and I try, I attempt to track him, but my shot goes somewhere else or it doesn't hit the tracks, I don't know. Uh, 340 damage, that's kind of a low roll. But uh, where is the Chiri? And I, it's right about here that I think about going, but I haven't seen the Chiri in a while, so where the hell is he? Well, obviously, he's gonna 
is gonna be flanking right about well soon TM I'm gonna see him flanking in a moment and there he is uh, just just as a quick uh, side note I mean look at where the fucking SU wanted to 44 penetrate right on the upper plate which is angled as you can see it's I honestly when I took the shot I thought I sh he shot me in the lower plate but no let's just uh, and he didn't even use gold ammo as you can see AP I don't know anyway um, and there is the Chiri until this point I did not know that the Chiri was top the, the guy doesn't even have the upgraded turret so I go chasing after him he runs away obviously I guess he saw me turning around now the other flank is completely uh, ruined it's only the artillery that's left and I mean we were uh, down five tanks it was uh, I honest I thought this was gonna be a defeat but uh, well spoiler alert it's not I ignore the T-37 it's pointless to even try to hit the moving light tech at this distance I focus instead on the Chiri the stati statistically the most dangerous player left on their team I really wanted this guy dead at any cost I put two shots in him he puts a number a few shots in me I mean the armor is good but the Chiri and look all of them just completely destroyed my armor for some reason anyway um, and now the T-37 is coming in hot gold loaded and I was praying to the RNG guys don't miss don't miss and of course I miss I get cracked by the artillery and I get left on 17 hit points I really thought I was gonna die here a leopard behind me on one hit point I quickly uh, get my uh, driver back into action because a heavy tank with a uh, dead driver is not is even heavier if you know what I mean the T40 comes around the corner I put a nice shot in his engine 409 damage plus the uh, fire and dies uh, but where's the leopard? well sure enough he's trying to flank doesn't really matter he can't hurt with us I kill him and yeah it's about here I well I'm really worried because I'm on 17 hit points all you have to do at with, at this point is just fire high explosive at me and it's very likely I was I was gonna die I dunked the shot I again I was on 17 hit points I was really really scared that that guy was gonna fire high explosive or APCR or anything but he doesn't I hit him 420 I was quite lucky with damage rolls this game in a tier 5 in that KV1 yeah he was shitting himself I mean and there's the other T40 this is not good I was asking I was thinking to myself please hit please hit and I set him on fire <laughs> he puts it out and right about now he should say high explosive and he leaves me on seven hit points oh my god and the kv1 and t34 come out behind me and I, oh my god i was thinking to myself no please no god no why why but i side scrape i hit the t34 and then I see the artillery and I'm thinking to myself, oh come on, give me a fucking break. Um, lucky for me, these guys are clueless, they don't really know what to do. I snapshot the teeth, I'm amazed that shot hit. But right about now, right about now, I was thinking to myself, where the hell is that Skoda? I mean, he's, he's, he must be thinking to come after me you know to kill me anyway sure enough he's gonna appear any moment now there he is fortunately for me he was aiming for the the tiger p kills the kv1 
fortunately for me he was aiming for the tiger p kills him but look at look at the aiming reticle it's not fully aimed yet and i was thinking please don't miss please if you miss you die and the rng gods were with me this day yay i'm now alone versus two artillery now <clears throat> the su-14-1 has a tier 9 gun which has uh 1750 damage average damage and the splash of six meters if i'm not mistaken so he doesn't even need to hit me or anywhere near me to kill me uh even the hamel can uh, kill me with the splash it's i was on so such low hp i was shitting bricks right about now so i was thinking to myself uh, back up uh, with this corner here uh coincident i mean look at look at the old uh, tank graveyard there's one two three four five six seven tanks on this corner i mean jesus christ <laughs> i was thinking to myself back up over here i can see i can i have line of sight uh, over these two uh approaches over here if the, one of the artillery comes through here i i'm gonna be able to hit them and alternatively if they try to flag me, I'll uh, proximity spot them. So I back up, up over in this position. And then uh, I try to reverse side scrape and then there's the SU-14-1. He sees me, he shits his pants as he should. He backs up. And I wanted to go in, but I think to myself, but wait, what if the Hummel is aiming at this precise location right now? I mean, that's what that's what you would do, right? And I decide to break contact, back off, uh, reverse over 50 meters, so I'm not spotted anymore. <coughs> and yeah, I keep reversing until I'm not spotted, and then I uh, decide to go and flank him. This tank graveyard, man, it's just amazing. Amazing how many tanks died here. Yeah. So, at this point, I wasn't really worried about the SU-14-1 so much as uh, I was worried about the Hummel. And a good player would have, uh, with a turn of the round by now, but he's not a good player, so if I, if I kill him, I, I had a high explosive round loaded, it was highly unlikely not to one shot him. Um, and then I stop on the corner, I wait uh, till I'm uh, not spotted anymore. Basically, I try to I, uh, fake the Hummel out in, in case I come, came around the corner not to get shot. And instead I elect to go down here and from here on out it's a case of uh, me ch I was thinking to myself well normally I I don't usually cap I usually go for the kills but in this case I mean I was on seven hit points uh, there were four minutes left and I thought to myself, what if the, what if the Hummel is going for the, for my cap right now? The ISU, the IS-2 is, uh, is not a slow heavy tank, but it's not incredibly fast either. If, if the Hummel would have entered the, entered my cap right about now, I don't think I would have had enough, enough time to, to get back and reset. Remember this is, uh, this is normal not encounter so it takes a minute and 39 seconds to cap it's I honestly don't think I would have time I would, would I have time to go back and reset anyway I place myself in the cap and yeah not uh, not much to say about I wait for the Hummel I aim at the likely location I thought he was in that uh, alcove over there I hear some splash noises. Uh, guess he was trying to 
blind shot me but it didn't really it didn't really work out for him and now I wait does he hit me does he get lucky and hit me I well I really hope he doesn't yeah it's not good especially not when you're and there's another splash I was kind of I was worried I see you see me moving right now I thought maybe move uh, move forward move back uh, what will he get lucky will he not get lucky he, after a game like this it would be a goddamn shame to get killed by a blind shot artillery blind shot I mean I think I would have cried myself to sleep that <laughs> And there's the Hummel, I tried to hit him but no shot and I, uh, I back up, I back up to the edge of the cap circle, put uh, myself, uh, put this small ridge between myself and him and like I said normally I would have gone for the kill but I was so low HP I was literally shitting myself that he would get lucky and hit me or whatever so I elected to go the safe way and cap. And I did, so I won. Herp, perderp, perderp, perderp. Yeah, that was a nice game. A very, very nice game. Yep. He, I don't know. I, I guess he was trying to aim. I, I really don't know. Doesn't matter. That's the game. All right, here we are in the battle results screen. Obviously, Ace Tanker. With all that effort, a bunch of ribbons, uh, 8,109 experience because I was uh, running a premium account, a 100% cons experience consumable from my personal reserves, and it was during the Tank Fest event, which pretty much meant you had double experience for every win you had. 76,000 credits, which is not bad. Uh, and then a bunch of medals, uh, Red Bull Waters, uh, Spartan, Steel Wall, High Caliber, unsurprisingly for 5,000 damage, <coughs> Top Gun, and uh, Invader for capping to 100%. So let's see the uh, detail report. Team Here we are in the team score, like I said, 5,000 damage, 1,802 uh, base experience, which is not easy to get, it's pretty good. Uh, over three, uh, almost three <coughs> times the damage anyone else on my team did. Uh, and the enemy team is was even worse. I mean, look, uh, tier six tanks doing more than uh, tier seven tanks, which is always sad. But it was good for me because I had an amazing game because of this. So yeah. Uh, 21 shots fired, 16 hits and 16 penetrations, which is actually pretty good for a gun with 0.4 accuracy and 3.4 aim time. The Russian derp guns, except this one is Chinese, but it's a clone gun. Its, it's stats are identical. It's not even uh, it's not even an issue. Direct hits, the armor for the most part it worked. 32 hits, 8, non -penet uh, eight penetrations, 14 non-penetrations, and 2 splash hits when I took the high explosive damage at the end there. Uh, almost took, almost died, took 1273 uh, damage. I was left on 7 hit points. Uh, damage blocked by armor, 1,075, and potential damage, 2,200. Uh, I took a few uh, shots uh, to the tracks, which don't count as direct damage blocked. And uh, yeah, it was uh, a pretty, pretty good game. And uh, I made a profit, because I didn't fire any premium runs. And even so, as you can see, 21,000 credits for the normal ammunition, the, the 122 millimeter shells are fairly expensive uh, and I would have uh, gotten a profit even without the premium account but uh, games like this are not uh, are never about the profit they're about the results results are all that matter and yes the experience because of all the 
all the bonuses and uh, boosters and whatnot. So yeah, this was the this was the game. Uh, thank you for watching the pilot episode of the Carry Diaries. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you enjoyed it, uh, if you have feedback, feedback is al always welcome. The like button is right there. The dislike button is right next to it. If